Now presenting Best Technology Achievement, Keith Raboy and Megan Kelly from VentureBeat. This thing is actually really heavy. <laughs> so the first rule of public speaking is never follow a comedian on stage. Um, so this is going to be challenging, but nevertheless, um, for the second year in a row, I'm deeply honored to be able to present the nominees for Best Technology Achievement. The reason why it's such a privilege is these are the people who are literally living in the future and working very hard to bring the future to the rest of us. Um, so we have self-driving cars, we have robots that can remove your spleen, and we have men jump, yeah, no, that happens. Um, and we have men who can jump from high-tech hot air balloons in space. So basically, this is not your photo sharing application category. Not at all. Um, we really, this, this year has been amazing and we are here to celebrate some of the coolest technologies that I think I've ever seen. I don't know about you. Um, well, last year's were pretty cool, but in any event, this, this year, first up is Felix Baumger, Baum, Baumgartner, who taught us that Red Bull not only gives you wings, but gives you the confidence to jump from the stratosphere at 128,000 feet up to about 838 miles per hour. Don't try that at home. Yikes. Um, next we had Google Glass, which is a product that everyone wants, but nobody but probably Sergey or Larry have actually tried. Uh, this year we also tried, uh, began rolling out our off, uh, our off world colonization strategy through the Mars Curiosity rover. And um, yeah. that one was cool. Um, and we continued those plans for off world colonizations um, <laughs> as we celebrated SpaceX docking at the International Space Station. And then finally, Tesla rolled out a network of superpowered supercharging stations so that very soon you'll be able to drive across the entire country using nothing but solar power. Okay, who won? Who won? <laughs> So for the best technology achievement of 2012, the runner-up is Google Glass. And the crunchy goes to Mars Curiosity. Accepting the crunchy on behalf of Mars Curiosity is Babak Berdowski. Berdowski, hey, how's it going? I think there's actually been a huge mistake. Our computer is actually slower than all your cell phones. Uh, it's about 15 years old. It's got 120 megs of RAM. But uh, thanks so much it's on behalf of the thousands of people across the, uh, the country and the world who really participate in this. It's, uh, it's been a real pleasure to work on this project. And thank you guys for, uh, for thinking it's cool, too. It's a uh, kid's dream come true.